I used to live in a simpler time, when life was full of reason and rhyme. I used to rhyme all the time, I was quite the poet. I had a way with words, and boy did I show it. That was before they came along, my sisters. They took my heart and my soul and sucked them out like twisters. They said rhyming was something they did not accept. My status as a poet could no longer be kept. Now I'm forced to rhyme behind closed doors. Live half a life like a beach without shores. And to make matters worse, that pesky barren bird have made it all the way to World the Third. How could they have made it to World 3? How they got past Worlds 1 and 2 is beyond me. World 1 is Mayahem Temple. Getting past that world would not have been simple. There are pesky flies, and stone heads that shoot darts, and a giant totem pole who's mastered the target shooting arts. How could that fat bear and his sidekick, Beaky, have gotten past the trials where you have to be sneaky? That bear's paws are so pathetic, they can barely kick balls. Look at him! He had to learn how to grab hold of walls! Yet, he and Chicken Legs somehow got out just fine, and made it to World 2 Glitter Gulch Mine. Despite the dark caverns, they still found the light, learned to drill rocks and defuse dynamite. They took on the crushing shed and were nearly chopped to pieces and raced a canary, even more frightening than my nieces. They reunited a fox with his rodent lover, dethroned the coal king and made things hover. It seems all that glitters is certainly not gold, but life has a way of resolving, or so I've been told. I say it's about time the old Gruntilda returned. I say it's about time my dear sisters learned. That when you take away rhyme, you also take away reason. You bring about crime and initiate treason. It is time- Grunty, dinner is ready. Having slug stew we are. I will be there very soon. Go ahead and prepare my bowl and s fork. Hurry up before it gets cold. <laughs> Go ahead, sisters, eat your stew. A new age is coming, the day is new. The tides are shifting, they no longer slack. A new chapter has started, the old Gruntilda is back. Hi there, pals. I'm Dark Minded Sith. Banjo Tooie is finally starting again. But with a world that's closed off, no entry, I don't think I can do this alone. So I've brought my favorite partner in crime with me. Not Kazooie, but someone else. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah. I am the Scarlet Badger, and you probably don't know me, but that's okay. 
Well, I'm so excited. They know you now. Yay! All right, witchy world. Let's get Let's started. Go. Enter with the Talon Trot so it looks funny. Oh, I thought the game freeze or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it took a second. All right, okay. world three. Do not bring burgers and fries in here. For all you McDonald's fans, you trash that the second you walk in. Mm. Or pad. This is an awesome world. This is definitely one of my favorites. Pretty close. It's my favorite. Yeah, your by far. your favorite. It's pretty close to mine as well. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have I got this yet? This is my favorite enemies in the game. Yeah. Collect mm -mm. into random stuff. Okay, this will stop at a random place. There, no. So you want to stop it when it's closest to the end. No. I hate these. Yeah, it doesn't. I can't. There's just a giant F U to me because I'm going. Oh, I think I figured it out with the timing. No, no. It all, it all comes down to timing. Banjo entering a carnival the way he does best, just vandalizing everything right away. Mm-hmm. Normal day in the life. <laughs> oh, hello. You've already planned things out way better than I do, because usually I completely forget to knock that <laughs> gate off until about halfway through the level, and then I go back and I'm going, oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, that's in many ways this game in a nutshell. I think it's impossible to play this game without, like, forgetting something. And this is why this, this game gives me kind of a headache, because I try to plan it out as conveniently as possible before him. What the hell did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I had to leap over to the fence, and yeah. I forgot the, uh... The shock jump pads here. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. This game takes a lot of planning, a lot of kind of figuring out what you, where you need to go, because it's so open. Yeah, now to make things as uncomplicated as possible, but odds are you're going to forget about 27 things. Yeah, exactly. Odds are there's going to be, oh, I didn't get that. Got to go back there. All right. Did you even, did you even talk to that buxom wench over there? <laughs> That's what I'm about to do. Yeah, I was gonna say. Tickets. So the place is free. Yay. Woo! What does that mean? And, uh... She must have had trouble finding the right bra size. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty convinced that's his sister. That kind of creeps me out a little bit. Because they're exactly the same. I know, that's what I was about to say. Like, it's... It's funny how they're that similar, that it's like, have we met? No, you've met my husband. <laughs> oh. <coughs> this is incredibly awkward, then. Yeah, he, I mean, he, like, essentially married his twin, just... <laughs> just with large breasts, <laughs> that's all. <That> nice. <laughs> and he's apparently fat now, so they might even look very identical. Mm-hmm. Fat? I didn't know that. <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't expect that to happen. Alright, so we've got to find her little brats that she was kind enough to bring to this amusement park. She didn't see the signs or anything? The only people that are here. <laughs> yeah. And us. Alright, so we've opened up a new area. A giant cheeseburger. With a rhino working. Poor guy. He still works for the man. And these guys are interesting enemies, because we can be like far away here. And like go like that. No, never. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I didn't realize you were zooming in. I thought you were like careening towards the enemy. I was like, what are you doing? It's gonna attack you. And he leaves behind Conga's ticket. Looks like we're gonna need. Yeah, Conga. I'm so excited. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> good man. <laughs> but he tried to kill us last game, so maybe he's redeemed himself a little bit. Maybe he's not obsessed with oranges anymore. No, I think there's oranges on the ticket. Never mind. Alright. Trying to get an idea of like where I should go first and oh, I know what I need to do. I should probably try to knock some of these moves out first, because I'm gonna need them quite a bit. I'm kinda thinking of what to do, but it's been so long since I've played this that I just I have no idea. <laughs> work pad? Just let your genius go to work. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's up. Yeah. Oh, I need one sixty notes. Too bad I only have 290. Oh no, go back. It is time. We've served well together. But it's time for us to go our separate ways. No. 
We don't have anything more to gain from being together. This is a sad moment, though. I know. It wouldn't be Banjo-Kazooie without Banjo... Yeah. Thanks. But yeah, if we go on these split-up pads, press A. <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The duo splits up. It's the end of an era. I know. Kazooie? Naked? <laughs> what is this? She's gotta come out sometime, you know. Yes, Banjo and Kazooie can now go off and do their own thing. Banjo by himself. It doesn't look that much different, really, but... But with Kazooie... Whoa! What is this? <laughs> she's extra fast. Yeah. She's the best. Now she's not held back. No, exactly. She's free to do her own bidding. That's right. But for now... Yeah, it didn't last long. We had to... We couldn't deal with that for too long. So, we got that move unlocked. We're gonna need that quite a bit. Which is definitely the highlight of this game. Is the fact that you can split them up like that. In fact, that's the way they advertise the game, I think. If anybody works for the man, it's Kazooie, I think. <laughs> Pretty much. She just does everything for Banjo. She does. I'm glad she's finally free for that's right. a little bit. Until he runs into her and goes, No, I need you again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the music stops. Oh yeah, it's freaky. We're on the high dive, and there's a Jiggy right there in our grasp. You got this. But what you can actually do is fall a little bit. Oh. Oh! Okay. <laughs> you can do it like that, or... The other thing you can do is grab onto it with the grip grab. And kind of just slowly but surely put your bare arms to the test. That's probably the better way of doing it. Probably. But I'm probably going to end up falling 12 times Or first. you can just fall, it's okay. E easy. Tiptoe banjo. This is how you got the jiggy from the snake. From slumber. When I was a kid, I could not do that. I always got so mad, I'm going, How can I not get it from the snake? <laughs> yeah. I'm going, I'm walking there, how is he waking up? And then I realized. And You're like, oh, wait. But now... I regret nothing! Oh. <laughs> Why didn't you do that earlier? <laughs> <laughs> now you can do it. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to fall that time because... I regret nothing! Yeah. Oh, I, th I thought you weren't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't believe in me? Mm, I don't know. After you fell the first time, I was kind of worried. <laughs> Well, I... yeah, exactly. Once you fall once, might as well have fallen 12 times. Which is what you predicted, and since you didn't, I'm, I'm proud of you. Speaking of predictions... <laughs> <laughs> this is a tent with stars. We walk in. Well, it, it actually looks really funny when you go in with the talent trot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks funny. <laughs> ah, welcome! I will choose your fate! You win a beating! Oh. Ow. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's closed temporarily. Okay. I'm gonna, my throat's gonna go out. I have a whole <laughs> session of recording to go through here, so. I gotta, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know between Professor Oak and her, how do you even handle it? Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't lost my voice yet. But yeah. How do you have one? <laughs> oh, there it went. All right. Hmm. Guess I'll go ahead and talk to old Rhino here. Fight you, burger. Big Ham says the tastiest burgers in the world. He's the biggest creep I've ever met in my life. <laughs> well, that's your typical uh, fast food worker. So. That's true. <clears throat> Speaking of voices, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Give him a try. I've got a few left. Do you want them? And if you talk to <laughs> <laughs> you talk to him again. She says, "Give me some burgers." Ow. Okay, kid. Burgers coming right up. You want fries with that? <laughs> yes, please. LOL, no. Yeah. No, he only gives us burgers. We have to get fries from another source. Uh. Yeah, like burgers and fries. I mean, no. 
Screw that. Who do you think I am? Yeah. Oh, what? No. Oh, it's back. Yeah, it's back open. Yay, okay. go back in. <laughs> yeah, you, that you don't like get anything from the tent thing from going in there. You just get like feathers or well, that's something, but you don't get a jiggy or anything like that. So, just kind of for some extra fun. Can she kill you? No. Um, no. You can't you die can get, going in there. Yeah, uh, you can get a beating just over and over again and eventually die. Oh, but okay. I didn't know if there was one time if you just came in and you just died. Nah, nah she's not that cruel. Okay, I've got one new move I need to learn. And then we can go on and knock out a few of these objectives. And I think that's what I particularly like about this level most, is that the Jiggies and the objectives, they're all they, they feel the most unique out of all the out of all the worlds, because it's like a carnival, so you're doing the different amusement park attractions. Yeah, there's really different set there's different scenery and things like that. It's not all the same place. Not that yeah, it exactly. looks similar. Yeah, and the objectives lie with the with the amusement uh, attractions. So it doesn't even really feel like chores at all. It feels like you're having fun and getting a jiggy along the way. And getting diseases from food. <laughs> yeah. Like any normal carnival. Yeah, yeah. Typical carnival. You're good to go. And here we have move number three. Oh er, no, number two. 160, I think. I can't read it. Oh, yeah. And now we can shoot eggs while flying in the air. Yeah, like... Bottles who? That's what I say. Mm-hmm. Glad he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> eh, he's... We don't miss him much. <sighs> Not really. Yeah. That's a joke. I love bottles. He's... My homeboy. The world needs more bottles. If I had a blank is my homeboy shirt, it would have bottles' head on it. It would say bottles is my homeboy. It would. Those shirts are so stupid. Yeah. Most... Shirts from Walmart make me want to die. Because so, they're so stupid. There's always like, you know, your mom with a Facebook image. It's like, no one likes this. I'm trying, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to find work clothes and I go there and I just see a bunch of Gangnam Style shirts uh, and I'm just going, <laughs> kill me. Yeah, exactly. Okay, next, next work pad. So now we've got the moves we need. Let's go on to some of these amusement park rides. This is where the fun begins. Woo! I was waiting for that. Yeah, you're like, when's this gonna get fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, when can we actually start? Mm -hmm. So first up, go over here to the right. Ignore this mutant cash register. Here we have the Wild Wild West, which was a great movie by Will Smith. <laughs> Even better song. Yeah, exactly. It's on Just Dance, I think. <laughs> haven't danced to it yet. Ah! Oh, it's one of those. Nope. Don't need it. Here's an easily missed note. Yeah, you're behind the door. Every time. Yeah, exactly. Without fail. I always end up having 95 notes in this world, and then... Alright. Grasp our way here, and... This is... Orange? Brown? I, Look, I brown it looks like brown to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Unless the colors are really off. Yeah, it's kind of different for me with the HD, so... Ring the bell to win a top prize! Okay. Is there anything back here? There's a... Okay. No. <laughs> thought there'd be a rhyme. But she stopped that crap. Yeah, she's like, yeah, then enough of that. <laughs> I'd imagine she still does it, like, to herself. Behind her sister's backs. She rhymes when she thinks. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so we have to... Test our strength here. Banjo's arms have heavily built with all the grip grabbing. But we're not even going to use that. We're going to use the moves we've learned. So you have to use those three different moves. The regular butt gra uh, pound... <laughs> butt grab? <laughs> I, thought said, I thought you said butt crap. <laughs> <laughs> that too. The, yeah. Use the, the beak buster, the, dr the build drill, and the grenade egg. Those three individual moves. And then that's how you get that jiggy. Nice. Now let's move on here. We have... Oh. Kid number two. Let's see what she has to say. I'm starving! Get me some fries, then I'll leave quickly! Or quickly? Quietly? However, I kind of went through that quickly. I thought they were all boys. Uh, no, I, th I think they actually made one a girl this time. Oh. Change. Oh, fries. I didn't get the fries yet. Yeah, I, was, I overlooked fries for some reason. <laughs> 
I, I was you wanted them, but... Yeah, I was thinking in my mind she just needs food, but I forgot it's actually fries. Yeah. Alright, so we got a deflated castle here. Ow. And right here, here's the next yellow Jinjo. Alright, I can't... He's waving, help, help! You need me, and... What? Oh. oh God. Eh. I love the sound they make. Well, you know what? How dare you tease me like that, you mirage. Kill him. You know what I think of you? <laughs> 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 Alright, now I've got a new move. You know what I think, dead? Jam jar. Oh. oh. Yeah. Here's a nice little thing the developers decided to add. No, stupid. If a move is restricted for only Banjo or Kazooie, he will only teach it to Banjo or Kazooie. So, that move is only for Banjo. So we need to get Banjo by himself. Which makes for a nice little challenge when you play the game for the first time. You're like, hey, a new move way up there. Go out of my way 20 minutes to go to it. No, forget it! Only Kazooie! Yeah, it's definitely great when you first play. It's not frustrating at all. It's so fun. Yeah, I'm gonna fall for that again, dude. You're oh, even well, the same time. color. <laughs> Banjo got stuck a little bit. <laughs> and we learned the pack whack. That's what we're gonna do slowly but surely, is throughout the game, now that they can kind of do their own thing, they're gonna end up getting their own moves as well. So Banjo gets his first solo move, which is now that he doesn't have to worry about Kazooie's heavy body holding him back. Speaking of being held back, <laughs> <laughs> he can now swing his backpack at things. He's like a woman with a purse, like, hitting people. I definitely yeah. do that on the daily. Yeah, like some creepy guy, and it's like, YOU GET OUT OF HERE! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Grunty was a creepy man. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so we're actually not going to reunite quite yet. Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> I forg <laughs> forgot. It. He, yeah, he forgot something. Yeah, exactly. It happens a lot. So we need to pump some air into that. Dude, just give up, okay? <laughs> You're not gonna win. Stop coming back. And there's even a slight crack, but yeah, there we go. That opens up. And now we're gonna test out how well Banjo does by himself. Your first objective, dude. Good luck. Because it was like, good luck! Damn. Actually, she'd say some smart assy thing. You, you need it. Fur head <laughs> or something stupid. Mm hmm. Just say what they are and add head to the end. Yeah, call them fatso or something. This is Pump Master 2. Product 1 was such a failure. So, throughout the game, we're also going to find these little switches with just Banjo's head and just Kazooie's head. And Banjo and Kazooie are going to work together, but separately. <laughs> like Makes what? Sense. Yeah. <laughs> like they did work together, but now they'll work together. Only not. But not together. Only yes. <laughs> yeah. So Kazooie comes in, and she steps on the switch. And that powers both of them. And we get a cutscene. And that thing happens where it looks like the game froze. Like, the Jinjo st the Minjo's still whistling. Like, shut up. <laughs> I know, he can't get quiet, at least. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's already established you're not a real Jinjo. You know, you should try something different now. Yeah, it's like, I'll get you next time. The typical 90s villain. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's how 90s, non 90s villains were very outspokenly optimistic. Next time. That's when I'll get you. Next time. And they fail, and they fail again. Next time, that's when I'll really get you. 90s villains don't give up. No, they don't. And they want to rule the universe. Well, for some reason. Mm hmm They kind of stopped recently. I think they realized the universe is not really worth ruling. And then uh, you get hurricanes named after you. Yeah. Rita. Mm hmm exactly. I was so excited when I heard that. <laughs> it's just really dumb. <laughs> It's like one of these days I'm gonna have a hurricane named after me or something. Next time I will. 
back. No, that doesn't work. I, yeah, when you did that, I thought I went, I don't know if that works. But then I felt like I found out a long time later that it does. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to do this for 20 minutes. Hope you guys have fun watching. Woo! <laughs> I don't care how old you get, these things are always fun. Mm -hmm. Like, anytime I see one, I'm just like, ME FIRST! Just every time. Crush little kids on the way in. Yeah.